My name is Jeet Kansara and I'm from Mumbai or so-called Bombay, India. My name is Devin Dombe. Um, I come from the uh, Democratic Republic of Congo, especially in Africa. And I'm being here in the United States two years. Okay, my name is Kingsley. Okay, okay. I'm from Nigeria. My name is Fabiana Santos. I'm from Brazil. I have been here for four years. My name is uh, Ludmila Ilyenka. I'm from Ukraine. Uh, I've been in the United States uh, three years. My country is amazing. I can show you different places. Uh, in Brazil, has a, a lot of different places, beautiful places. Is lakes, waters, the vegetation is a little different. I love farms. I can show you. Is the food, of course, is amazing for that. My hometown is beautiful. Is if you can come in with me, visit my country. I can show you the the beaches because Dominican Republic has the most beautiful beaches all all Caribbean. Uh, what is basically special about my hometown is uh, we have uh, four basic things that are special. The first one is our food, then the second one is our language, then the third one is our mode of dressing, and then the fourth one, the last but not the least, is our greetings, the way we greet to each other. There are many mountains, rivers, lakes, temples and many more many things to visit uh, in that city so i would like to take you uh, there as well uh, the highest peak of the world the mount everest uh, as many people would like to is a, actually a dream of many people to go over there my hometown uh, is named uh, chernigov it's a very beautiful city uh, then in uh, north ukraine we have uh, four seasons, and the summer it's uh, nice, hot, and in the winter it's so cold, but it's also so beautiful. We have a lot of snow. <laughs> I study United States because here it gives me more opportunity about learning the language, um, and my goals is uh, baseball. So here I can draft for MLB. Um, it's more opportunity for me. Uh, it's all because of the scope, how high, uh, they were like a vast scope from the US. Like even if I study the same education, same kind of subject in my country and from here also, the more um, like a, it is like a, they, they give you more recognition of this degree from the US than from my country or from any other country. Uh, I want you to study in the US because I want to experience different cultures and have more brighter future opportunities than just in a, in, in a particular work of field because in India business marketing is not big like in US or North America the business sector is quite growing and it's quite developing plus now Dallas has like all the major companies coming and making the offices they're expected to have like you know, about 10,000 jobs in the next five years I think I don't choose live here in the United States. I think United States chose me because the, I remember in one month I received the opportunity to come here. I decided, okay, I'm go. It's a quick time. I don't think why United States. You feel, I mean, number one, it was close to my house, and the second thing is uh, there are so many people that I knew at Eastfield, you know, who were really, really nice friend. They're a really good friend of mine. They actually suggested that, you know, Eastfield is good and, you know, the number of international students is higher. I like the most in Eastfield College because the baseball team, my teammate is a great people, so I like it. And the teacher in the class, they help me and I love it. Phil College have a beautiful school and have a lot of people, friendly, professional, teacher, or friend, they so friendly with me and they help me a lot. Yeah. Back in my country when, I mean, the teachers and the professors aren't that, uh, you know, helpful. 
and they are not they are not uh, what do you call casual about and they have like a strict thing like okay I am a teacher you are a student you know you do as I say and that's it but here it's it's more like a friends uh, kind of thing where you know they would they would have interest in my culture they would ask me and I would ask them yeah there is a, a lot of difference between uh, education to United States in my country especially uh, in my country uh, there is more corruption you know and here you, it's very difficult to see uh, uh, you can give a teacher money for to add you a point and that make more difference and because education is is a one part of uh, uh, our people life that's a prefer to study in is college some difference between my country and the United States is like this the preparation you can be you can have more preparation here in the United States and you can win more things than my country one of the main differences is to do with the education system because um, in the UK like uh, for a past grade it's 40 percent then uh, for like a uh, like a really high, like for distinction, it's usually like 70%, and, and below that's merit. But here for a past grade, it's 70%, so it's slightly higher compared to the UK. Is that harder for you? Yes, yeah, so yeah, the first few months I couldn't get my head around it, but now I'm getting used to it now, so. Uh, for first, when I start to study, uh, it's really, it was difficult for me, because uh, I also speak like five language, and then my, um, I like all the time have mixes because uh, I want answer, but I need first I need to think or translate for my word, and after I just uh, answer. But this was before. Now like all the week months, I do this better, better, and it's easier for me right now. Uh, I found it difficult the first few first few weeks, especially. Also, the teaching system is quite slightly different. Because here, like the teachers that pr provide you more assistance, whereas in the UK, it wasn't the same. Some of the teachers they wouldn't really care. I'm I'm working 20 hours a, a week. That's that's like you work, can work in a normal semester, and if you're off, you can work as many like 40 hours. But I wouldn't recommend anyone working more than 20 hours because it gets really stressful with the semester going on. Yeah, you see, Savi. Subway and uh, it's not like people say that you just make sandwiches but they don't know that I'm even taking five courses with it so I, I work from 10 to 4 or 7 to 1 and then I go back to my classes so it, it gets really stressful but you know I can't really I'm 19 I'm gonna turn 20 in like 10 days I don't want to rely on my parents for everything they're already providing everything so I just want to take that I take on my pocket money every month so I have the expense going and I just bought a car, so I and I bought and I just found a really cheap insurance. Okay, what surprises me, what surprises me most about U.S. culture is the way they greet. In my own um, country, if you say hi to an elder, it means uh, disrespect, that like you are disrespecting the person. But here, you can see a person that is uh, older than you can say hi to the person, and the person can respond hi to you. So, but in our own country, just uh, regard, uh, regard it as disrespect. What surprised me most about U.S. culture was the way they live. You know, like uh, we live with families and most of the U.S. people, they're like separated with each other. And, you know, that, that's what I find. The, the typical stereotype that I uh, felt that was, you know, you would get bullied. You know, when, when you know, I mean, there's, there's always, um, you know, during the shows or anything, you would actually see people, you know, um, bullying other students and stuff like that. And I was like, I was really scared about that, but that wasn't true. Also to do with the portions, because it's like from all my friends back in the UK, they always used to think of like when Americans have large portions and, and, and I, 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 I thought that that would be true, but when I came here, yeah, so.
What I learned, like the previous stereotypes, I only had one stereotype in my mind the whole time. That was like, uh, American is a hub of junk food. And I think that's pretty much the same thing. I've been to New York, I've been to California, I've been to Houston, I've been to Kansas. It's the same thing. You get different kinds of junk everywhere. I always thought that like people would like walk around with guns, and especially like in Texas, from what I've heard. And also the, there's a, an American football team called the Cowboys, and I always thought like there'll be like cow, cow, like cowboys. I'll see them all around, like walking around on, on the horses, and uh, and also the third one is to do with the cars. So I always thought like there'll be like big cars and all these big cars like, all on the roads. They used to stay me in America. They will behave you like you are from different planet, something like that. But I didn't find um, that you know uh, they were quite friendly, and um, and some some are like uh, you know um, they don't know about our culture, so they little bit. It's like uh, you feel really you know like uh, in a crowd you feel like alone some kind of sometimes it feels like that sometimes, but still. Uh, in terms of friendly, you know, like uh, they were really friendly uh, with us. Whenever we we want to ask some questions to them, they're really friendly in answering them. One incident that I want to tell you is uh, during, you know, the moment when I entered the states. Uh, one of, I, I don't know that guy, but he just approached me and he's like, "Do you need any help?" And I was like, "Yes, sir. I'm 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 just lost." And he actually helped me and he, he told me what to do next and where to get in line and stuff like that. So it was that was the first time I, I was, you know, greeted by an American, you know, to I mean that I mean without any asking without asking for help they would just, you know, approach me and ask, you know, whether I needed help or not. I used to think that people here uh, won't accept anyone other than their own country. But I was wrong on a very big scale. People are so friendly, so friendly. Like, I, it, it feels like home. What I missed most about home is uh, my food. That's the, the, the basic thing I missed about home, yeah. The food. <laughs> okay, my favorite food is uh, fried rice. Uh, with spicy food, and these people, they don't like spicy food. <laughs> <laughs> they just hate it, you know, and we put like a lot of spices in it, like that, that smell, uh, that, that's a kind of good smell for us, and they don't, they're like, you smell like curry, <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah. How we make it at home is that we, we first of all boil the rice, and splice the, the carrots, the garbage, and every other thing. Put the, put oil in a, in a frying pan. Then we now put all those ingredients inside the frying pan. We now turn it, color. Then you now pour the rice, and then you start searing the rice. Yeah. You have to cook it yes. When I came here, I was 231 pounds, and when I right now I'm 180 pounds. <laughs> so yes, I do miss it. And I will give I will give you try some food over there. Uh, it had a lot of full strength, yeah. I mean, uh, the worst thing about me is I'm a vegetarian, so, I mean, uh, all you have is a salad and tortilla chips, stuff like that, so. Wow, my parents, my family, of course, and the food, <laughs> yeah. My country, I, I miss everything, my family, the weather, all my food, yeah, it's too different here, so I miss too. It's my friends, because at home I had a lot of friends that I built up like during the past 14 years, and um, and also like the social life at home. I could, I could, I should just say that but I could go out clubbing and, <laughs> and just uh, have loads of fun, and yeah. but here it's it's a bit difficult because I have to I have to like stick to people that I usually know. Americans party is different how you party in India or like how you celebrate in India basically not party but celebrate so I miss my festival celebrations from India like what? like uh, recently we had a festival like Diwali like you burn up crackers and everything and it's not celebrated here anywhere except in California and uh, uh, 
we went to like we have a temple here so i went there but in india you have like you burn crackers you play like you play with cards gamble basically but uh, it's all off record <laughs> so yeah that's all what i miss the most challenge when i come to the united states was the language because it was really difficult to me and i didn't know english uh, I'm most challenging with my when I came here, like and my friend. I don't have any friend here. I don't know how to how language because that is the second language because it studies so hard for me. Right now for me it's a little bit difficult because uh, uh, I'm single mom and I need to take care of my little one. And also I need to go to work and study and sometimes I just don't have time for do everything the same, but I'm trying. The challenging thing I found uh, living in the United States is uh, living without a family. Because in my country uh, I uh, used to live without my family and there uh, was another day I used to live without my family and there was always support and there was always help from my family when I was alone. But when I came here, I realized that everything you got to do is by yourself. Uh, I miss my family. The, um, they've been good to me. So I miss them all. I miss my parents, my friend, and my home city. What I miss most, I miss my friends my good friends with who I grew up, with who all the time help me when I have difficult time, when I'm enjoy with them. It's really the part what I miss, <laughs> my friend. Uh, it gives you a maturity, kind of maturity. The thing I learned is that uh, when you go far away from, if you want to be mature, then you have to go far away from home. That's how we learn everything, how to deal with the problem and how to uh, solve it by yourself. So the, it was the most difficult thing uh, to live away from my family. Learn English, learn Spanish is necessary to hear. Um, the difference of cultures, but it's, it is a good experience for your life. For incoming international students, I just want to say them that don't think the process is difficult. It's a really easy process if you do it yourself. Majorly, people come from Asian countries, they rely on others to fill up their applications and everything, which is messy and expensive. That's one mistake that I made. So I want to prevent that from people, other people that they don't make this mistake because, you know, you can do it yourself. Uh Every, every person uh, or every international student has his own story and you know I would not suggest okay do this or do that but you know what I would suggest is be yourself. Uh, it's like uh, it's a li little bit difficult but still don't think uh, they're not friendly don't think uh, they won't help you just come here with your free mind you know don't have a kind of you know dilemma in you if you want to come here that's it. I mean, you know, you don't uh, hide yourself, you know, because you are uh, from a different country, going to a different country. It's, it's just where people, you know, people would start knowing you and, you know, and all you have to remember is you have to represent your country. And that's, that's the best thing, you know, you can ever have or you can ever do. I just say, try to meet as much, as many people as you can first few weeks. The, the one thing the most which I enjoy in the United States is meeting different sets of people, trying to know them and try and try to know how to communicate with them because in my own country the way we communicate is quite different from here. Our meetings are about knowing different cultures, knowing every culture basically. So that's why it's called International Club and it's not basically for international students, it's for everyone, uh, for any any person wants to join. It's I'm, I'm the president of it. It's it's really awesome where people, uh, you know, people just come together and they basically 
describe or you know share their culture to the rest of the world but you know it's it's not like okay we are an international student and it's that's the boundary i mean normal people like even the locals can join a uh, local student or normal student can also join at the international student club and they can describe or learn about the culture okay i will tell them to basically to be concentrate on what what they are doing concentrate basically on their studies and uh, and then and then be punctual with their lectures and others and also try to get as much advice from the from your from your teachers in, in terms of how to prepare how pre to prepare for like assignments and um, the next exam examinations and um, just enjoy yourself and it was, it's, it's sort of a,